Hi guys, Sharina from Sassy Seamstress and this tutorial is going over the accessories for the Tristana cosplay costume that I started in the last tutorial, which I'll put a link down below so you guys can check that out if you want. That is the jumpsuit part of this costume. This tutorial, however, will be going over the um, craft foam armor knee pads, the leather harness, and I'll also touch on the belt buckle and the goggles. Okay, so for this tutorial I am using painter's knee pads um, and at first I'll just take out this strap so I don't end up cutting it. Um, and the next part is we need to actually shape the knee pad um, so it's a little bit more round. Um, as you can see we're going to cut off about this much so that um, it's a little bit straighter on the sides. I'm using these notches as my reference points and just drawing a straight line down. It doesn't need to be perfect um, but just something to work with. And I will make sure that it's a little bit even with both sides using those notches so that they're the same. And then using a razor blade, I would not recommend this particular razor blade. <laughs> I was out of my stuff and I need to go to Lowe's, but it's what I have on hand. So um, just taking this, make sure it's a new one. Um, you're just going to work your way down. And I'm giving myself a little bit of space so I can kind of clean it up later. But um, there you go, you got a nice straight line. Alright, so for this side, we actually need to make it a little bit more round um, on the side so it matches the top on the bottom. So, uh, same thing, I'm making a reference line straight across from those little tabs. And then I'm just going to start at the edge and give it a good curve. It doesn't need to be super dramatic, but just a little bit. And then using my razor blade, I'm cutting off um, those edges. And you can see there, it's a little bit still pointy, so I just kind of cleaned it up, um, made, it, made it a little bit more round, um, and I did that for both sides. Okay, so to put the uh, craft one on the top, this is really high-tech measuring. I'm just matching it on one side, making a line, rolling it over, and marking it again, allowing myself to have a little bit of room. I do the same from the bottom, and for the top, I just kind of rolled it up, and marked it. So with that square, that's what I'm going to be cutting out. So to get the actual curve here, I'm just going to hot glue that on, it's approximate, and then the hot glue um, down around that curve will help me roll this craft foam over that, uh, that rounded edge. So here is me just putting in that hot glue. I've glued down the rest of it. I'm sorry, you can't really see it with my hand in the way. And then I'm slowly just kind of squeezing that down and the heat from the glue actually will help mold the craft foam. Um, if you don't have a, a heat gun or a gas uh, burner, um, that also can help you kind of mold the craft foam first before you lay it down. So Okay, so um, I already did it, and it's a little messy, but I don't care because I'm going to actually cover this with a little bit of a layer of, of hot glue. Um, but what I did was as after I had pressed all of this in, um, there's a little bit of a, of a some bowing going on, but um, after I was done with that, then I actually just took um, my razor blade, actually, and I also found my tiny scissors, so excited. Um, and I just kind of cut the foam so that it's a little bit more flush on the other side. And I'm actually going to do the other, other um, same thing with the ends. So if I kind of peel this back, there's a little bit of a lip there. So I'm actually just using my tiny scissors now. And I'm just going to cut away that extra foam. Going with the design of this. Um, about that far with this. I'm actually just, I'm freehanding this. If you want to be more precise, you can use a sewing gauge or a ruler just to kind of make sure that you're even all the way around. Um, but I'm just going to freehand this. So I know it's about, it's about that far from the edge. And I'm just going to, again, I'm not worried about making these lines because they're going to be um, kind of carved out with the Dremel and then covered in paint. So, Okay, so using my ruler, I know it's backwards, I don't care, I'm just using the marks. Um, so I got my inch here, 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 and then it's about a half inch. 
There you go. Now, um, originally, I was going to take a ruler and just kind of like, you know, do my draw my straight edge across that way, but I actually found um, because of the curve, it actually became less accurate that way. So again, I'm free handing it. Um, if you want to use something like, I don't know, tape, or if you have a ruler that just flexes better, um, then by all means do that, but I'm just going to freehand this across. Okay, so this is my little Dremel, um, and I'm not using any type of fancy bit, it's actually just, you know, there you go. And sometimes this will have a screw in it, I'm leaving that out so I can get um, the drill bit definition, or um, little additives, so, and I'll show you how to do that later. Um, with this part, I do kind of hold it. I'm, I'm not going to actually show you me dremeling it because it's. I find I have better control when it's close to my body and it's kind of an awkward angle. Um, but I do try and hold it at a, at a slight angle. I'm not, you know, straight straight into it. Um, I'm maybe at like a 45 degree and I just kind of follow it around. One thing I did find is you want to make sure that you're you're turning your thing in the direction that the Dremel turns, so that tends to be counterclockwise, so you're going to turn it this way. When you end up going against the grain, um, I find it kind of bounces and it's not quite as clean of a definition. So I'm going to go ahead and Dremel this. I'm sorry I'm not showing you it. Again, it's just a really awkward angle and you can't really see it very well, So, um, but we'll pick it from there. So now the next part for this is um, I'm going to do several layers of glue and we're just talking Elmer's glue um, I end up doing I think about five layers on this one and it just right now the craft foam is uh, really porous um, and it's also still pretty squishy and flexible so the glue provides kind of a protective coating and a sealant over the craft foam so that when you paint it you're not painting layers and layers and layers um, it gives it a nice clean finish it's nice and smooth so um, the next part was just uh, applying that glue alright so I'm um, just applying the glue um, generous helpings. I probably could have used a bigger brush, but there, <laughs> you know, there you go. Um, the next part after the glue dries is actually just applying a white primer um, and then a silver metallic coat, um, which I think is probably where um, I'll just pick up from that point since it's just me um, spray painting. Uh, it's not very exciting, so I will pick up from there. Alright, so here I'm using a small brush to start weathering the um, metallic silver, um, otherwise it just looks kind of too bright and shiny. So it's very watery black um, and I just apply it in the crack area and then I'm just using my finger or you could use a paper towel and I just kind of wipe off the ex um, excess and um, just kind of work my way around, you know, so I'm going to have to apply and then wipe off and kind of go around until I get the exact um, weathered look I want. This helps enhance your um, armor and makes it look more realistic. Alright, so there you go. There is the final piece, both of them together. Um, yeah, I think they turned out great. All right, so I wanted to go over um, how I'm making the belt and harness. For this piece, I am using uh, browned leather from um, my Joanne, uh, local Joanne fabric store. Um, it's from the interior design section. It's actually, it's actually a vinyl, it's a fake leather. Um, and I cut out, I'd already measured the distance for the belts and the connections from the harness from the, from the back to the front. Um, and they ended up being about the same, so I cut them out. These are 38 by 2.5 inch leather strips, and I cut four of them. And this is just the, the leather folded over and pinned, so I can actually, this is all ready to go, I can sew this. And then here's what the sewn product will look like. Um, if I fl flip it over, this is, here's the seam right there. Uh, and I ended up 
I didn't really want to go out and buy more brown leather or brown uh, thread, so I just used black. So I wasn't really too worried about it. Um, so I am going to show you though a technique on you sewing with vinyl or leather. Sometimes they can get sticky, especially if you live in a more humid climate. Um, using trace paper, tissue paper, or tape, they all work about the same. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that technique. Okay, so this is just trace paper. Um, you can use tissue paper, even just um, like scotch tape even will work. Um, and I've just, I've just laid it on, it's not pinned or anything, and I'm just following along. This is, probably tissue paper would be a little bit more see-through and so would uh, scotch tape, but I'm just following along. I actually have a pin here I'm going to remove, and, uh, sorry, arm in the way. Lay this down, I'm just laying it on top of it and following it along. So what this ends up doing is you get a, I'm going to show you, bring this around, a perforated um, piece. So when you're done actually sewing, you can just um, tear this off and you're left with a clean seam. So I finished the uh, making the leather straps and I've attached them to this clip. Um, and I've actually gone ahead and sewn one of them here. And the other one's just pinned. Um, and I'm just using needle and thread and hand sewing it across. Um, and then I'll go back over with the sewing machine to give it some extra security. This is the front of the harness. If I flip it around, that's the top. And I'll actually just pin it there once I'm done sewing it. So I finished sewing the front part of the harness. And next I'll be doing the back part of the harness, which is pinned, and then this whole piece will be done. All right, so I wanted to touch on the um, armor belt buckle that I made for this. Um, I'm not doing an actual tutorial on this because it was all the same steps that I used to make the um, armor knee pads. I'm using the same materials. Um, I will show you, though, on the back. Um, for the base, I actually just used um, a circle of cardboard and then layers of craft foam um, on top. Now, the only difference between this one and the, um, the armor knee pads is that I actually use Mod Podge glue instead of um, the Elmer's. I actually found it just, it, it was better, it's a thicker coat, you get a better finish. I wasn't having the cracks that I had with the knee pads, so um, I just found this was, this one was way better. So I did want to show you that I did do it. Um, and it's just hot glued on to the back side of um, the buckle clip. Um, so what I did was I actually, let me show you, hold on a second. So I actually just brought these two things together and I clipped it and I centered it and then I just um, hot glued it on. So that's the belt buckle part of it. Um, and then the other part is these are actually my snowboarding goggles. Um, and it's really, it's hard to see now, but uh, yeah, you can kind of see it. Okay, there you go. You, there's a, there's Scott and it's logo here and that was bright white. Um, and I don't care if, you know, if it says Scott on it or not. So I actually just took, um, a permanent marker and blacked it out. You could probably get a better effect as you can see. I mean, you can still see Scott on this. Um, so you can probably get a better effect if you're using, um, black dye. But um, I'm kind of under the clock with getting everything ready for um, this convention that I'm doing. So, I, you know, quick, quick fixes right here. And I just luckily happened to have a pair of goggles laying around, um, which really helped out with this scenario. And I really suggest just looking around your house um, at extra things that you have and what you can use and modify um, for your costumes. All right, guys, um, that was it. I hope that you guys like this tutorial. Um, if you have any comments or questions, or I guess requests even, um, let me know. Put it uh, down in the comments. Um, you can also sub sus uh, you can also subscribe, <laughs> and you can follow me on Facebook and Google Plus.